Today we'll be looking at Bigfoot data in Ontario, Canada. Ontario is a province in Canada and uh, the capital city of Ontario is Toronto. Capital city of Canada is Ottawa. Uh, we have Bigfoot sightings in the yellow dots. Um, I had some people email and uh, ask me to cover Ontario and uh, and uh, we'll and look at some of the some of the data. Uh, it's the BFRO Bigfoot Research Organization data um, that's supplied through at the Esri Hub and it's downloadable in shapefile format and KML. And um, so we'll have a look here at some of this data. Um, there's a cluster around Perth, Ontario. We'll, we'll uh, just take a quick peek at some of these. So this Class B sighting, possible day to daytime sighting by boaters, and the day prior between Perth and Westport. And I believe this is Christie Lake. It's going to be close to Christie Lake in Westport. Christie Lake. Um, I have a story about that, but uh, maybe we'll get to that later. Um, possible wood knocks near Westport. A lovely, lovely little place close to Perth. Possible daytime sighting behind a cabin near Westport. Class A. Now, sightings, obviously, uh, that's what they, they call them. Uh, the database is called Bigfoot Sightings, but uh, it could be not just uh, visual sightings, it could be uh, footprints, um, wood knocks, vocalizations, any kind of evidence to support uh, um, the, pro uh, the fact that uh, Bigfoot would exist. Uh, here we go again, possible vocalizations. Southeast of Arden, Ontario, near Big Clear Lake. So, yeah, so we have some clusters there. Um, one down in uh, Trenton, Ontario. So we'll look at this one. Uh, it's a childhood incident near Trenton, possible sighting. March 1982. So a lot of these, a lot of these are recollections of, by adults of childhood memories of um, Bigfoot uh, encounters. Class B possible tracks. And smells noted by vo vacationers near Halliburton, Ontario. So not only sounds, su uh, seeing, uh, and also smell. One up by Ottawa, just north of Kanata. Class B, possible sighting by two brothers in the Dun Dunrobin area, west of Ottawa, 1984. Now, most of the population of Ontario lives in the south, the southern Ontario, where most of the sightings are. But as you go north into northern Ontario, there's very few or fewer sightings, um, you know, very remote areas uh, with fishing and hunting camps and uh, First Nation reserves. Most of these places you would have to drive into, uh, fly into, you wouldn't be able to drive, You'd have to fly. Uh, some of them, you may be able to take the train, 
but uh, you wouldn't be able to drive up to some of these places. Uh, here's one here uh, close to Deer Lake. Fishing guide a sighting while trolling Deer Lake. A class A. July 1986. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip over to the BFRO.net website and we're going to look at this um, sighting and maybe we can get some more information rather than just a short description that's in the GIS data. So this is the BFRO website, BFRO.net, and we've, we've hit uh, Ontario, Canada, and there's a list of reports. Fortunately, fortunately, there's not thousands of them. Um, there's only, you know, but anyway, it was July 1986. Fishing guide has a sighting while trolling near near Deer Lake. So we can click on this, and there's a here's the detailed report by the BFRO. So there's BFRO investigators who go in and invest, you know, investigate the sighting and interview the, um, the witnesses. And uh, there's a very detailed um, description. And uh, here you can see, I came around the corner and saw a large black animal standing over seven feet tall, ran and jumped across Quick Quick. Not sure what Quick Quick is, but I'm, I'm assuming it's uh, maybe it's a uh, part of the the Deer Deer Lake. It was it was black like a black bear. The first thing I thought of it was a big 1,000 pound black bear running on its hind legs to escape the wolves or something. So very interesting, detailed accounts. I won't go through uh, any more details, but uh, as you can see, it's quite, quite in interesting and very uh, detailed. So let's have a look at some more. Red Lake. See what we've got here. Uh, Class A, October 1990, morning encounter with a moose hunter in northern Ontario. Okay, so we'll look at, uh, let's go back and look at October 1990. October 1990, morning encounter with a moose hunter in northern Ontario. Class A sighting. Initially, what I thought I was seeing was another hunter. That feeling soon went away. It was definitely human-like, but not quite. Within two seconds, I realized I could not possibly be looking at a man. All I remember seeing was a massive back, very muscular arms, a little point of a head from behind, and wispy black hair swaying in the breeze off of the arms. I knew for sure at this point I was not looking at a bear on its hind legs, nor was it a moose or a man. Wow. Creature kind of sniffed and then cocked its head back, gave a couple more sniffs, and then sort of a grunt. Amazing. Walked off into the uh, into the bush on two legs, making no no noise whatsoever. 
Well, that's a good one. So anyway, um, let's have a look here. Some more. Put some down in Thunder Bay. Fair, quite, or just on the edge of the city of Thunder Bay. Possible tracks. Found crossing. Field of snow. And this goes back to 1958. Amazing. Now, I have heard that there are, the BFRO do have a lot of reports in Ontario. They just haven't, had a, haven't gotten around to investigating them all. There's another one. 1991 or 92, woman recalls hearing unusual, unusually high-pitched sounds at a home near North Bay. Now, okay, so I know a little bit about the geography of Ontario. And North Bay is, is not located here. North Bay is located down in, uh, towards southern Ontario. Maybe they mean uh, Thunder Bay. People do get Thunder Bay and North Bay. Um, I shouldn't say that. I, should. I was going to say they get them mixed up, but I don't. Maybe in this case they have. May 2001, hikers report possible voc vocalizations. I can't pronounce that uh, provincial part, so I won't. This is like a, quite a remote part of uh, Ontario, really quite remote. There's one north of Timmins. Class A, nighttime sighting by a policeman on the Trans-Canada Highway, 100 miles west of Cochrane. Okay, let's look this one up. This is quite interesting. October 1992. I can't see that one. Don't see that one on here. October 1992. Oh, well, that's too bad. But maybe uh, in another video, I'll, I'll find that one and we'll come back to it. But uh, that would be interesting to see uh, to, to see and read up on and hear about a policeman's account. Class B, possible whistles heard by campers north of Sault Ste. Marie. Wawa. These are, these are quite close to the uh, Trans-Canada Highway. Class B, in 2004, family describes possible rock throwing while fishing at Lake Superior, Provincial Park. Interesting. Class B, unusual thud, impossible whoop heard along with the feeling of being watched in Algonquin Provincial Park, one of my favorite places. Class B, witness and his girlfriend hear strange sounds. Okay, well, that's, um, you know, I encourage you to uh, possibly have a take a look at your own uh, province or your own state and, and uh, have a look at the uh, 
EFRO sightings. 